Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on this budget video. If you are new, welcome. My name is Alex. I'm a single mom saving for a house. I live in Wisconsin and I have one kiddo. Her name is Savannah and she is 10 years old. I'm an independent contractor. I shop and deliver groceries to customers and I get paid weekly. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Friday. Today we got hit by a blizzard and my daughter and I have a snow day. I say we have a snow day because I don't work when she has off of school. So this week I only worked two days unfortunately, so it's it's a pretty, pretty small paycheck, but uh, no worries, I always prepare for this. So yeah, we had two snow days and then one day the roads were not so great, so I decided to play it safe and stay home. So please, if um, any gig workers out there are watching my channel, please consider staying home on really bad, bad days. Um, just because, you know, you might be a fantastic driver and you probably are because, you know, we drive every single day. But you also have to think about all of the inexperienced drivers that are out there in the snow that could possibly hit you. So for me, my opinion is just it's not worth taking that gamble. So yeah, I stayed home that day. All right. So this week, unfortunately, um, I only made $354.38. So I am going to be putting $53 into my savings, that is 15% of my paycheck. I do this for taxes and also it's a good chunk of money to put into savings for emergencies. So that brings me down to $301.38, but we're just gonna forget the 38 cents. So we will be figuring out what to do with that $301 for this week. So my bills are always really consistent. Um, they are always, um, it's $206 total for all of my bills. So I'm just gonna quickly subtract that just to see what we have to work with. Oops, let's try that one more time. All right, so that is $95. I'm just gonna put that up here. So we're gonna first count out how much stuff I have in my wallets. Um, this is my everyday wallet that I use that I have in my purse. All right, for my spending money, I have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95 dollars. So yeah, to figure out my budget every week, I just write down all of the categories. And then to the left, I write out how much money I have currently. And then to the right, I'll figure out how much money I wanna add in. Savannah has 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Heaving out has 20. Household, I believe, only has one dollar. Yeah, I ended up buying some candles for the house. Probably bought way too many, but decor has zero. Sometimes you just have to buy candles when you see them and you like them. I get my candles from like TJ Maxx and Home Goods, so they never have like the same thing twice usually. So. Personal hygiene has seven. Okay, 
Beauty has five. You guys, I decorated for Valentine's Day already. I hope it's like not too early. Don't make fun of me. Family fun. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it for my everyday wallet. Next up is my other wallet that I just keep at home because it has way too much money in here. Gas, we need to count out. Gas has 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57. It has a lot because I had a lot left over from last week and then this week. I only worked two days. So we probably won't need to add anything into there. Next one up is Savannah's clothes. 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, Super excited because all of her winter clothes still fit and even her winter boots. So I was really worried about having to buy new boots, but luckily we don't have to. Mom's clothes has 20, 25. I try to add in more money for clothes in the winter because if we ever need to replace winter clothes, it's a lot more expensive. So I try to add in more money if I can. Car maintenance. 100, 200, 300, 400, 10, 11, 12. 412. I'm off, bad work week. This is also for bad weather. 100, 200, 250, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 289. I don't have vacation time or anything like that, so this is kind of fun if I want to take some time off and I didn't make enough money throughout the week or if there's bad weather. So I can definitely dip into this if I need to this week since my paycheck was so small. I'm going to try not to, but we'll see. I only have $95 to play with, so electronics. All right, this one's going to be a big one. 100, 200, 300, 400, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 600. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 
dental and medical, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, and 105, or 100, oh my gosh. <laughs> 115. Alright. Vacation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 140. Alright, lastly. We just need to figure out what I have in holidays, which I mean, I already know I'm not going to add anything into this section, but I will go ahead and count it out. Valentine's has one, two, three, four, five, five dollars. I still would like to get a couple more decor items for Valentine's to decorate with. Birthday zero. Gifts 25. All right. So that is everything. All right, so let's figure this out. Usually mark in pencil, but I figured you would be able to see the pink probably a little bit better this time around. So, um, I want to do the bare minimum, but I also don't want to make my budget this week super tight since I do have $289 into my time off and bad work week section that I, I can utilize. So I'll try to do my usuals and see what I have left over. My spending money, I'm going to do 20. Savannah, I'm going to do 10. Eating out, I'm going to do 20. Household, only has one and I know I need toilet paper soon, so uh, I'm going to do the bare minimum and just do five. Core. Don't really need to add anything into there. Personal hygiene, no nope. beauty, no nope. family fun. I'm gonna do 20. I'm already at 75. Gas, we have 57, so I think that'll be fine. Savannah's clothes. I think I'm just gonna do 10 this time. Um, my clothes, I'm going to do only five this week. So we are already up to 90. Um, car maintenance, I would love to add money. Hmm. Electronics. So I do technically have five left over, but I definitely need to add in 20 for vacation because... I want to save up $1,000 in a year, and that's about $20 a week, so I do really need to add that. Um, dental and medical. Car maintenance. I think I'm just going to have to use next week's paycheck and, you know, put a lot of money into car maintenance and some money into time off. In electronics, those are kind of my three main categories that I like to add a lot of money into. 
because for my electronics, I'm just kind of paying off a computer right now, and I'll also have to save for another one as well. So, yeah, electronics section is kind of really important to me. Same with car maintenance. I have a lot of repairs that I will have to eventually take care of. So, if I do... Right now I'm at 110, so um, that's technically um, $15 over budget. So I think I will take out 15 from time off and bad work week. I think I'm just gonna do that. And then I'll, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. I mean, yeah, do I really need to add $20 into eating out? Technically, no. Like, if I didn't have this money in the time off and bad work week section, I probably would not give myself money um, to eat out, you know, for me and my daughter. But I think it, it'll be fine since I do, I do plan for these bad weeks. All right, that kind of looks good to me. All right, well, so that's everything for this video, you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend, and I will be posting my cash stuffing video tomorrow. And stay safe out there if there is a blizzard out by you guys. I know, you know, it's kind of happening, like, all over the place. So stay safe, you guys. Have a good weekend. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.